story leaps on to Moscow in 1980. A physicist named Alexander Chinetsky was working along similar lines to Tesla, although on a laboratory scale. In addition to his measurements, he had a crude system of light bulbs to indicate power output. Under certain conditions, high voltages and high pulse rates, he stumbled upon a startling effect. He writes of a surge of power at the heart of the apparatus and a sharp increase in power output. Over a period of four years, his research indicated that this apparatus could generate five times the power it consumed. Few of the scientific establishment in Russia or elsewhere took his claim seriously. But one top physicist from the West, interested in fringe science, did go to see Chinetsky in 1991. We went to see his device. It was a very sort of dramatic demonstration. I was impressed. Uh, I went home at the first night in Moscow and uh, didn't sleep very much trying to figure out how this thing could be working, uh, whether it was a trick, uh, what principles could, could truly be involved. Chinetsky's papers talk of tapping the energy of the vacuum, language very reminiscent of Tesla. In a report published by the Russian news agency Novosti describe some of the extraordinary potential implications of his research, not least a new and non-polluting power-generating industry. Stimulated by what he'd seen, Puthoff finalized arrangements for Chinetsky to continue his work in the US. The Russian died suddenly in 1992. No one has taken up his research.